Morning campers. Well, had a little liquid sunshine last night. Oh, tent soaked again. I'm getting puddling in my tent. Just small puddles, I don't know why. Didn't used to, I'm gonna have to check that out when I get home. But I mean, it's not bad considering the amount of rain we get. It's, it's minimal, but I never used to get that. So, obviously there's a seal or something that's broken. So, yeah, we got a pretty nice trail here. We're on our way to Takala Falls. Or however it's pronounced. That's how we're pronouncing it. We were at Laughing Falls last night. It was a nice campground, actually. Yeah. Anyway, I'll give you a look. I'm going downhill here. Risking life and limb to do this video. <laughs> well, here we are. Going downhill. There's Roblox. Actually, but it's a nice morning. It's certainly a nice morning, but... Yeah, so... Plans to get to Lake Louise. That's the plan for today. That's so far. We have some other plans, but... They're pending. So, we're gonna wait and see. But, yeah, get to Lake Louise. See what happens after that. Okay. Any updates? I'll get you online. Actually, so check out this guys it looks like it looks like it's just coming straight out the mountain that's Takua Falls the highest is it? oh my wow mind you that one we saw yesterday was pretty high I thought Yeah, pretty cool. Very cool. And then we're on this. We just had the campground here. It's very. It's not really backcountry, but it is. It's a very well organized backcountry campground. And this is how you get in. So, Parts Canada is doing this thing with these red chairs. And actually, there was two at Yoho. What was it called? Yoho Campground, yeah, Yoho Lake Campground. So, yeah, they're all over parts of Canada, these red chairs. Very nice. They're even secured. They're secured to the ground so nobody steals them. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, I gotta tell you about. Well, for you, it's today. For me, it was yesterday. So, I think I told you we got a ride the road actually to in between fields and uh, Lake Louise from a lady from Medicine Hat who was uh, originally from South Africa super nice lady she's out exploring around uh, she had surgery on her knee so she couldn't do very much but uh, she was just out doing the best she could so that was, we really appreciated that. So if you happen to be watching this, we really appreciated that. Now, the next thing that happened was, we got a ride oh, from Dion. Dion. I can never pronounce it. He's originally from New Brunswick, living in Golden, was on his way to Cochrane. Super nice guy, super nice guy. He gave us a ride all the way to Cochrane and uh, we were chatting all the way along the way. Had a good time, really nice meeting him. And to you I say, Dijon, thanks a lot buddy. You really helped us out. And then, the next thing that happened boss, we got a ride from this really nice guy in a Tesla. First time we've been in a Tesla. And he gave us a ride pretty much all, all the way into downtown Calgary. And that was super nice of him. And again, super nice guy. And uh, 
thank you to him if you're ever watching this really appreciate it really helped us out so we get into Calgary and oh my arm is I gotta switch arms <laughs> oh let's not there we go we get into Calgary so well Cameron he works in the afternoon so uh, Chelsea I think was in Tabor but I contacted Cameron just told me we were in Calgary that's my son and then uh, the roadblock contacted our friends uh, Mel and Paul because she had some gear at Paul's uh, and then we did a, a resupply at Safeway oh pardon me yeah yeah, you're right, Robok. Oh, here's Robok. I, uh... We had this really nice breakfast at this place called Red's yeah. in Kensington. Yeah. And you know what? We got a plateful. Got really good value for money. I could drink as much coffee as I could handle, which was excellent, because it was good coffee. And, uh, yeah... Then we did a resupply, and then Robot contacted Paul, and Paul says, oh, it's okay, you can go to my place, which actually was only like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away, because they live in Kensington. So we went and did a resupply at Safeway, and then Robot says, well, you know, I have a bunch of snacks at Paul's, and oh, she had some, canister. oh, and a gas canister, which we kind of needed. So I have, we have, we have the extra gas canister and that between the ones we have and that one, that'll probably do both of us for the trip. I'm steaming up here. The humidity is through the roof again. So that was good. Yeah, you can see the misting. And then, uh, so we got to Paul's, we had breakfast, did the resupply at Safeway, that was good. Got to Paul's. I met his daughter. His daughter was home with her friend. And then we just kind of... Mr. Winston. Oh, and the cat. Yeah, Mr. Winston. Oh, what a beautiful cat. Yeah. <laughs> One of the first things that Robox said to me, oh, when I was at Paul and Mel's, they have this really ginger, fluffy cat. Mr. Winston. Mr. Winston. So I got to meet Mr. Winston and Paul's uh, daughter. And then we kind of just hung out there. I put my tent in the backyard and tried to dry it out, Took which you did. Shoes. Well, that's stunk up the whole place. <laughs> well, I offered to put them back on because my feet smell. I don't have smelly feet, you know, but I do now, right now. But anyway, um, well, I got to change hands. My arm's killing me. <laughs> yeah, so then we just hung out and we waited for Paul. And uh, Robok had kind of mentioned to him, had sort of said, well, you know, is there, could you could you give it? Oh, we picked up some beer for him uh, just to say thank you for, you know, like he was holding that stuff for Robok. So we picked up a little beer that we knew he liked. And Robok had already sussed that out. And uh, waited for Paul and then Paul got home and then... Uh, uh, we visited with him for the afternoon, really, which was really nice because he was telling us the skateboard. I mean, you know, Paul's done some really, uh, insane like, insane trips on this whole longboard, skateboarding, well, on the longboards. And, you know, he's in a really unique, um, like, position with that. But he's been all over the world doing this, like, traveling around got his backpack on and on the longboard and it's actually really interesting yeah uh, and then so we chatted we were chatting away and then Mel got home and she also has a really interesting job yeah uh, don't know whether it's say it on YouTube but anyway all I'm saying is that she has a she's a professor she's a professor so she's a super smart lady, um, and yeah, she's uh, she has a and not an easy job. I can tell you that. 
from what she was just saying, it's not always easy, right? Uh, and obviously, you know, being a professor is, uh, it's not, you know, getting there is not easy and then having the job's not easy. So really interesting. We had a really interesting, we had a really interesting chat with those guys. So we chatted with Mel. So then around eight o'clock, Paul kind of, there was a slight misunderstanding. And it, you know what, it's nobody's fault. It, it wasn't a big deal. And you know what? We weren't, we weren't, if Paul couldn't have given us a ride, that would have been fine. It was no problem. It was, we realized like people have things on the go. Can't just, you know, drop everything for us, you know? And we didn't expect that. But Paul thought we were leaving in the morning. <laughs> but we were actually leaving we kind of wanted to leave that night just to get to the trailhead so we could start walking first thing in the morning so Paul he, he kind of misunderstood which was fine so he said oh no problem 8 o'clock at night Paul and uh, Paul drove us all the way to the trailhead got there like at 10.30 you know uh, or something like that and you know he's got to drive home right and Mel's sitting there, you know, she's sitting at home, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So really big thank you to Paul for doing that for us. That was, that was really, really nice and we really appreciate it. And we had a really nice day. And you know what, it was kind of nice to chat and hear all the stories. And you know, from a misunderstanding, we got to know those guys a little bit better and that was really cool. So that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, that was yesterday. So then we got to the trailhead. Basically, we found a spot where we could pitch our tents. And that was it for the night. And then we got up this morning. And now... Uh, oh, and that will be the end of yesterday's video. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... Uh, that's the end. It's... Uh, Goodbye for now. Goodbye.